Volcanic clouds had tremendous impacts on air traffic. Hurricanes hitting continents around the world. Extreme flood events cause immense damages to economy and ecology. In order to provide accurate weather forecasts and continuously monitor severe weather, national meteorological services rely on receiving high volumes of accurate satellite images, data and products. Reliable data processing and archiving are also needed by scientists to provide information on the status and dynamics of the Earth's climate. In Europe, these vital services are provided by UMETSAT, an international organization operating European meteorological satellites which monitor weather, climate and the environment on behalf of its member and cooperating states. The high quality data and images delivered by UMETSAT satellites are essential for increasingly accurate numerical weather prediction and now casting of severe weather. The UMETSAT satellites transmit their data and images to receiving stations on the ground, which together with backup systems are located throughout Europe. Three antenna of the primary ground station in Usingen, close to Frankfurt, receive data and raw images of Meteosat second generation, MSG, geostationary satellites and are also used for telemetry and telecommands. The antenna are acting as the main channel of communication between the MSG satellites and the Mission Control Center. Data and images are relayed from these receiving stations to UMETSAT's Mission Control Center in Darmstadt, Germany. UMETSAT operations has two primary objectives. It's the continued provision of high availability services to our users and the health and safety of the in-orbit satellites. To ensure that we can meet these targets, we have a very resilient ground system without single points of failure. For example, we have a network of backup ground stations and backup satellite control centers which can be activated to re-establish communication with the satellites in case of failure on the primary systems. The backup ground station for MSG is located in Mas Palomas, Spain. And for the first generation of Meteosats, there is one in Cea, Romania. The Mission Control Center also operates UMETSAT's polar orbiting satellites, providing data in support of operational meteorological forecasting and global climate monitoring. The METOP Polar Orbiting Satellite dumps data on Svalbard, Norway, during each of its 14 daily, 100-minute orbits. To provide significant benefits to global operational weather forecasting and disaster monitoring, this has recently been increased to two dumps per orbit. Under the Atlantic Data Acquisition Project resulting from the long-standing cooperation between UMETSAT and the United States, the data collected during the first half orbit are now received at McMurdo in Antarctica. This capability delivers METOP data to European and US weather services twice as fast as before and will increase the impact of satellite data in global atmospheric models. In addition, the UMETSAT Advanced Retransmission Service transmits data from polar orbiting satellites through an existing network of high-resolution picture transmission reception stations, where data are processed directly by the stations and information is presented to the forecasters in real time. Data and images are relayed from receiving stations to the Mission Control Center, where they are processed and archived and then retransmitted via UMETCAST, UMETSAT's own data dissemination system. UMETCAST is also increasingly used to disseminate third-party environmental data from UMETSAT's member states and partners, with the organization acting as a service provider, providing access to global satellite data from the United States, China, Japan and India. Another important element of the UMETSAT ground system is the network of satellite application facilities known as SAFs that draws on the expanding range of satellite observations to provide application-specific process data, software tools and services in support of weather and climate monitoring. These SAFs draw on specialist expertise from the UMETSAT member state weather services, such as the Met Office in the UK, which is leading the numerical weather prediction SAF. This SAF 
has been very active in providing software modules that have allowed us to exploit more satellite data and exploit it in, in better ways in, in NWP. And these modules have dist been distributed to all UMETSAT member states and throughout the world. The satellite application facilities are specialized in support to now casting, ocean and sea ice, climate monitoring, numerical weather prediction, land service analysis, ozone monitoring, radio occultation meteorology, and operational water management. UMETSAT, together with these SAFs and other global partners, is also supporting global climate change monitoring through the provision of fundamental and thematic climate data records. UMETSAT provides the high-quality data and images necessary for short- and medium-term weather forecasting, 365 days a year, 24 hours a day, and its long-term data records support environmental and climate monitoring as well as oceanography. The University of Reading is one of the numerous users of satellite imagery in the scientific community. Reliable data of precipitation are vital for many countries. We receive, uh, using the satellite dish, the uh, data from Meteosat's second generation satellite, which we process to provide rainfall estimates for Africa. Uh, we receive the data every 15 minutes and it's important that it's a reliable service because we produce the rainfall estimates effectively in real time. Dr. Grimes and his team study changes of African rainfall in the past by analyzing UMITSAT's long-term data records. We have been using the archive from Meteosat to provide information which now goes back to 1983 and therefore we can work with African National Meteorological Services to allow them to have an archive of data so that they can understand if rainfall climate is changing within their region and what the variability of rainfall is. Data from the UMETSAT data center can be ordered online for download or distribution on DVD using UMETSAT's Earth Observation Portal. Using the online product navigator service, users can also discover the various type of data available in the data center. Furthermore, with an archive of data going back to 1981 and a wealth of topical data and products, the organization is uniquely equipped to meet the global challenge of climate change monitoring. The data is used for a multitude of purposes. We have the climate researchers, we have meteorological and oceanographic studies. We also have research for uh, renewable energy. So it's quite a diverse range and sees how important uh, the data is for our users. The next generation of geostationary and polar orbiting satellites will provide not only continuity but also an improved service. <laughs>